This is 34-year-old Casey Grayson. Before escaping from the Hines County Jail in Raymond, he was facing a number of charges, including being a convicted felon in possession of a firearm and grand larceny. Over the weekend, investigators in New Orleans conducted a death investigation after getting a tip that someone fitting his description was found unresponsive at a service station. Investigators later confirmed it was Grayson. There was drug paraphernalia and suspected narcotics recovered in close proximity to where he was discovered in the vehicle as well. Now the vehicle that he was discovered in was a white pickup truck. We believe this pickup truck to be a truck belonging to a family member. Sheriff Tyree Jones says his department is trying to figure out which family member gave Grayson the truck. When it comes to the drugs that were found, the sheriff says he can confirm if they played a role in Grayson's death. But we will say that there were no physical injuries to his body and there was no foul play suspected as well. This all dates back to more than a week ago when these four inmates escaped from the jail. Since that time, Dylan Arrington and Grayson have both died. Jerry Raines has been arrested and Corey Harrison remains on the run. Arrington died in a house fire during a standoff with deputies in Leak County. He's also accused of killing a pastor while being out on the run. Grayson died in Louisiana and Reigns was arrested in Spring Valley, Texas. These individuals were desperate to be in society. You know, they were actually fugitives from justice and this is part of the job. This is what comes along with the responsibilities is being able to track these individuals down and also to be able to work collectively with all law enforcement agencies as it relates to getting these individuals back into custody. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.